There's no question that cattle is king in the U.S. At $76 billion, it leads the nation's output. 90% of the American herd is family owned. It takes a special kind of someone to run a ranch. Today, a tribute to just such a rancher in Mississippi, a state with nearly a million head of cattle. From producer Brian Utley, here's the story of Ted Parker, Mississippi's Farmer of the Year. Very thankful for the blessings the good Lord has given me because I, I never, I never expected to have all of this. I never dreamed of having all of this. I guess God always knew I wanted to live on a farm, <laughs> but you better be careful what you pray for, it might come true. <laughs> a lot of people go through life and they don't find what God has planned for them to do, but I do believe with all my heart that God wanted Ted to do this and for me to do it with him, and we've accomplished a great thing. I always loved cattle. I wanted cattle. I remember thinking if I could ever get me 300 head and a, and a good job in town, boy, that'd be the best thing in the world, you know. When I graduated high school, I borrowed $5,000 and bought my first cattle. I guess I've owned more cattle than the year after. Every year since 1978, I've just never stopped growing. After Janet and I got married, we everything she made, everything I made, we lived, and other than that, we put it back in the farm. In 1990, we bought this place in seminary. It was a dream come true for me, and I thought, boy, I've got it now, you know, I'll never, I never thought I would have anything other than this. I just hoped and prayed I could pay for this. So he had two jobs and cattle, and I had a job. So there were a lot of sacrifices. Ted called me one day and I was working at a vet hospital as an office manager. And Ted said, I've got to hire a secretary. And I said, well, I'm coming home and I'm your secretary. So we've been working together for 20 years. Every time I'd see opportunity, I would take advantage of it. And, and I, I've just kind of continued to grow and grow and grow. And, I rented some land from Calmaine Foods, and adjoining that land, there was a, a, a dairy, and before long, I had bought the dairy, and I started growing cattle under the barns and feed them a silage-based ration. We put mostly steers there. We can put a few more pounds of gain on them there, but it, it's very unique. I don't know of anybody doing you know, as far as anybody doing what I'm doing, it, nobody in Mississippi, I, I feel relatively sure. You know, when I started with Ted, it was just me and him and his father-in-law working. It, that was it. You know, I only worked for about 60 days that fall, and, and we had everything done. That's how far this has grown since 1994. You start dissecting it down to locations or or a group of guys that work here, a group of guys that work there. It, it, still, it still takes every hand to, to make the day. Our big emphasis and, and our job has always been to get these cattle and get them healthy, take stress off of them. They're just like us. When they're really stressed, they get sick. And we want to take the stress off of them, make them feel at home and that my crew, everyone knows that, that their job is to take the stress off of them. The sooner you can make them feel comfortable, the better off the cattle are. They're very knowledgeable in what they're doing. They have a system, it's systematic. Uh, you can tell that everybody knows their place and their job and they enjoy it. That's something that kind of speaks from other places that you go where it's just a job. These guys are fully invested in the operation here. They support Ted and his family and everything that they do. And you know, that just makes better employees. It makes for a better product, a better environment. It makes everything just a whole better experience. If you don't love this business, you won't do it because it's, hot weather and it's rainy weather and it's cold weather we, we you know it's a seven day a week job and everybody that works for me loves what they do now occasionally we hire somebody that thinks they might love it but they don't last very long <laughs> it comes down to the cowboy code you know you as an employee you ride for the brand and you know that's it's not just letters on an animal but it's 
it's, it's the, the entity of the, of the operation. Everybody's a team. It's not just one person running the show. It's just been about what we needed to do. And I guess that's kind of how I see this as teamwork. And now our two sons are involved in the business. And a lot of young people don't want to work that hard. But I think they see the benefits and see um, that it's so worthwhile what we're doing. I've worked for him off and on since I was 17 years old and I'm 42. Ted and Janet Parker, they hold a large percentage of making me who I am. And I've watched him through the years to make the deal right. I've watched him take a beating at times to, to honor his word, to honor his character, to honor you know who he is and, and that's one thing that I've always admired the most about him is you know it, it's it's never 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 been about him. The fact that he's humble and and he's just a normal everyday guy. I think it's key for people who are doing business with him because they feel like they can trust him and they feel like that you know everything's being handled fairly and it means a lot to our local producers the buying station here because they're able to bring their cattle somewhere local they don't have to haul it as far they don't have the shrink and things like that and that they're getting the best deal possible and I think that really makes this operation special. We're excited that he is our nominee for Mississippi. Uh, it's special for Covington County given the fact that cattle is such a big industry here. And so we think there couldn't be anybody better than Ted to represent us on this great scale. I don't know what I've done to get here. I've just got up and worked hard every day and had fun doing it. It's such an honor, a great honor, and I, I, I really can't believe that I'm sitting here doing this, but uh, I am. <laughs> we've never dreamed that we'd ever want any kind of accolades for anything that we do. You know, we've never even thought in that realm that somebody would take notice of us. Because there's other people doing great things too. Um, so we're very humbled and very blessed and feel great. And Ted's a great manager. He's been a great husband, father. It's been good. <laughs> Congratulations to Ted and Janet, well-deserved.